a landmark moment for Turkish military aerospace. The maiden flight of the Khan fighter, the country's first homegrown warplane and fifth generation jet. On the face of it, the relatively gentle 13 minute flight might seem tame, but it's a huge step in the country's efforts to upgrade its own air force. The stealth, twin-engined, all-weather air superiority fighter is being produced by the state-owned Turkish Aerospace Industries, with British multinational BAE Systems acting as a subcontractor. Turkey has prioritised developing domestically made combat aircraft since 2010, with Turkish Aerospace Industries focusing much of its early efforts into producing a successful range of drones and unmanned aircraft. It has branched out into helicopters as well, with the advanced Attack 2 expected to go into service with the Turkish military as early as next year. The Khan has more than a passing resemblance to the F-35, and perhaps that's no surprise. Turkey was originally part of the US-led Joint Strike Fighter program, but it was booted out in 2019 following the decision to buy Russian-made S-400 missile defence systems. Washington was worried a crossover could compromise the F-35's sensitive stealth technology. The advanced jet will eventually replace Turkey's fleet of ageing F-16s, but in the meantime, Turkey has been looking into fourth generation options as a stopgap. The US has agreed to sell Turkey 40 new F-16s and also help modernise 80 more of the existing warplanes. Turkey is also looking at buying 40 Eurofighter Typhoons to help upgrade its current options. Two of the three Typhoon partner nations, the UK and Spain, are willing to sell aircraft to Ankara, but Germany are so far reluctant. All the more reason then for Turkey to push ahead with developing its own military aircraft. The new jet is still at least a decade away from appearing in meaningful numbers with the Turkish Air Force, and perhaps longer still before it becomes marketable to foreign buyers. But that didn't dampen celebrations at the Khan's first flight. Richard Johnson, Forces News.